side turn on. That's what we'll use. Well, stop in here on the crow's nest at the rest stop. Now, well, time for a pee break, and uh, I'm going to get my bearings. I'm going to figure out where the turnoff is to go to Vulcan on Highway 23. So, I'm going to get back in the motorhome, go check that. farm well, we'll go check out this there's a sign there we'll go take a look at that sign you are sensitive sympathetic and considerate well thank you you are you're thank all you. of the above <laughs> I try. so we are told here in Vulcan we should go check out this abandoned farm with a windmill that's still operating. Well, I guess if he says we can go check it out, I guess we can. We did realize it was private property, so we needed to respect that. This is actually an original CPR demonstration farm that was set up by the CPR. It was meant to entice new settlers to the area. The house was fairly simple and had two stories. There is room inside this house for very good sized families and back then they had many many kids. This is inside the house, we're definitely not going to go inside the house. We're just looking through the window. This used to be somebody's house at one time. The house is partly boarded up. Even so, birds and wild animals have still gotten inside and made a bit of a mess.
this farm was set up in 1912. Prospective farmers were told to acquire land and this showed them how to set up their farm. You can hear lots of birds surrounding the barn. Anyway, I'm not going in any of them buildings. It is rare to find an intact windmill like this one. The windmill we used to pump water for the family and the animals. And over on the side there, there's a couple of combines going. Probably at one time, a good home for some people. Yeah, barn swallows all over the place. The town of Vulcan is between the cities of Calgary and Lethbridge on Highway 23. It has a population of just under 2,000. Time to go have a rest. What's up? You arresting me? <laughs> go see if that other spot's available. Some more stuff here. There are three campgrounds in Vulcan. The Virginia Mitchell Playground Campground the Petrocan campground and the one we are going right now the Vulcan Municipality Park campground which is free for up to three nights We're here at the Vulcan free campsite. Only free for three nights in a six month period. So we won't be here for that six months and we're only here for two nights. 
you're allowed three nights free but after that they expect you to pay 15 okay but the box is right over there and the neat thing here is some people have left some DVDs so last night we actually watched this movie there's a couple other ones here yeah so we watched the sign of the beaver very interesting movie CTV movie and this is where uh, there's a book left behind some pegs and this is where the registration forms are I'll take a look around There's a total of five sites here. So the first night we were here, we actually parked in a different spot. However, the spot where we're at now became available later. So I was checking out the motorhome and I looked at the tire it looked low so figured we should go and get it checked at Fountain Tire here in Vulcan before we did anything else so we're here at Fountain Tire and Chad is checking all my tires here in Vulcan so I appreciate it much appreciated. Everything is up to yep. par, 65 pounds. 65 psi in all of them. Oh, super. Thanks, Chad. You're welcome. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your trip. We will. And thanks for uh, topping up my tires. <laughs> so I can always find amusing things to do to pass time at this campground. We noticed on Elizabeth Street and Railway Avenue, a stop sign. So we were keeping track of how many people actually came to a complete stop. So that's where I'm going to go here next. Let's count them. Let's see how many actually stop at that stop sign. Okay, the count starts now. Are you still counting? Well, there goes our red car. Anyway, we'll tell you at the end of the... Oh, there's another one. Oh, he actually stopped. He kind of stopped back a little bit ways, but... I think we can count that one as a complete stop. Anyway. And this guy? What's he doing? Uh, he's still rolling. He's still rolling. Still rolling. No, that's not a complete stop. Okay, we'll let you know at the end how many vehicles actually came to a complete stop. So let's get the music started again.
Okay, we're gonna stop there. So there was a total of 34 vehicles that went past the camera. So the question is, if you were a cop and giving out tickets, how many tickets would you have given out for not coming to a complete stop? And then how many actually did come to a complete stop? Comment to this YouTube in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. As we continue our journey here, we just might get beamed up to Vulcan. Thanks for watching and God bless.